have you seen Jesse Lee Peterson talk about a uh, mother's love? No. It's pretty, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of, he talks about, uh, how a mother's love is evil. It's I was, I was laughing my ass off just thinking about your, that impression. <laughs> I can only do it on here. I haven't tried, I tried to do it all week. I'll try yeah. to explain it to Jess. Yeah. And I was like, ah, I think it's, and I was like, I don't even know what, I was like, I don't even feel like explaining it, whatever. <laughs> and now I get down and that's all I can think about is whatever this guy would say. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. This fucking look a mother's is... love is evil. A mother's love kills you. A mother's love is of her God, the devil, Satan. A mother's love will destroy you. It is destroying you. The God above is the man's God, and the God below is the woman's God. Women don't have love to give, right? Women receive love. God in Christ, Christ is a man, man of a woman, woman of a children. They tell uh, the children today, don't listen to your father. Even if they don't say it in word, they say it in spirit. We no. must be born again of the father. And, and the love, love, which is evil, is evil. pushed on it's... earth as good. In order to live, you must give up a life. And the life that you give it up is a life that been passed down to you from your mother. It's like the he puts like, he has like a popsicle stick inside his lips. <laughs> like up there. Like he's got like a little piece of wood. Keeping it dry. <laughs> Cause I'm gay. Cause you're gay. <laughs> I keep my lips dry. Cause, cause I'm not gay. Why do I want one lip so I can suck that dick? <laughs> I don't suck dick. Gay men suck dick. It's something dry. <laughs> Just put like a dollar. <laughs> uh, <anyway. laughs> this is how you do it. It's easier. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you keep your lips dry. <laughs> he had the pause. That's it. That's it right there. <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> Why do you Christopher? Do you watch porn? Chris, do you watch pornographic movies? Sometimes. What kind of porn do you watch? Porn. You don't watch gay porn? You know it's the same? Are you touching yourself? Are you masturbating when you're watching porn? That's gay. You're gay. <laughs> gay porn and straight porn are the same thing. They're both demonic. And demonic is gay. I like this new world. There's a lot of new guys out there that are great. Have you found any other new ones like uh There's two like real estate watch TikTok guys, but I can't remember what their names are. But they're kind of funny. But there's a there's yeah, there's a there's a lot of new people around floating around. Is it like it's mad. Andy Elliott's unbelievable. Can we look up Andy Elliott? He's uh, everything you, you're going to hate. He makes him I never it. complain. I never whine. When I have problems, that's a good thing. The only time you don't have problems are when you get out of the arena, when you get out of the ring. That's when you get over here and you're out. You go back to your old life and you're out. There's always going to be problems. There's going to be lots of problems. But problems need to be solved, not complained about. I hate when... Um when people who use their, whose voice is like part of making their living have a speech impediment. And yeah. specifically when people um, can't say L's or R's, like he's saying, uh, I hate when people complain. Sounds like a fucking retarded toddler. It's just, it's there like 2%. It's not, yeah. like nobody would pick that up, but I want to put a over the side of that guy's head. Can you watch that video one more time, the same one? I never complain. I never whine. I never complain. I have problems. I never That's complain. I have problems. The only time you don't have problems. Hey, pause. Problems. The yeah, only yeah, time yeah. you don't have problems. I feel like there's like a, that's like a, t a species of human, like that shit. Like that type of shit is almost like a... The, 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 yeah, people who should have died when they were babies. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's like people whose voices are raspy because they yell so much. These are like aggressive <laughs> high school athletes. Yes, yeah, yeah. Aggressive high school athletes, wrestler types. It doesn't matter how it, you you can you know anybody can go work out their biceps and get big biceps, but this guy should have died when he was a baby. Instead of making his biceps big or any of that shit. I mean, I would if if I was him, I'd make my biceps as big as possible. <laughs> was he got a G Shock on? Yeah, it's not important. I never drink. Is that a fucking Hublo or a G Shock? I don't know. He's got his Lululemon shorts on, so it's uh. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this guy should have when he was a baby. That's a L lot of that. Lululemon. Lululemon. 
Oh, he makes guys take their shirts off and he says, if you work for me and you're fat, you don't work for me or something like that. Like that kind of shit. Oh, really? Come here. I'm gonna grab this guy in the pink hat. Come here real quick. Come here. Let me show you what I'd fucking do with him. Steve, Steve how old are you? 52. Steve is 52 years old. I could call him Comeback Steve. If you'll physically get right and you'll take care of your family, you'll make more money than you know what to do with. That's Steve, not true. Take your shirt off. Come oh. on, Steve. Steve, come here. We're gonna make a deal with Steve. Okay, listen. I'm gonna give Steve, I'm gonna give Steve $10,000, okay? Listen, and that's fuck you money for Steve. Like, but I'm gonna give Steve 10 grand if in, in 120 days, which will give you four months, which he's not that out of shape, okay? He can get a six pack. Okay, now who thinks Steve can do it? Mm -hmm. All right, you gonna take me up on this? Let's do it, let's do it. Okay. Good. I love it. Hey, I mean this. He knows he can't. I'll give you the 10 grand when you get the six pack. Show me the six pack. Where does, where's this watch? Where the watch? Is that from Zoomies? What, what does he have on his <laughs> wrist? What does he have on both his wrists? He's got a fucking camp counselor friendship bracelet on his right <laughs> wrist, and he's got a fucking white G Shock on his left wrist. What kind of car do you think he has? A fucking. Probably a. Urus. A Taycan or something like that. Yeah, a yeah, Taycan and a. a Something you don't wait in line for. I bought him a $10,000 watch, the exact amount of money that you shouldn't spend on a watch. Oh, the Alpha Warrior. That's how you get like a fucking like, piece of shit. This hey, is... guys, I'm about to reward one of my top guys with a brand new Breitling watch. Check this out. I'm going to tell oh you this. Oh, my God. A $10,500 Breitling. Fucking by yuck. Recognition, not by compensation. Compensation lasts for a second. Recognition lasts forever. Watch this video. Check it out. Thank we you. got a little something for Sean. Let's give it to him. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Here's the Breitling you wanted. Yeah. Uh, dude. Yeah. Is he going to cry? Yeah. Yep. Dude. I'm gonna fuck him. Kiss. 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 Everybody say this. Dreams do come true. Dreams do come true. Okay. How much is it gonna cost? More than you wanna pay. More than you wanna pay every time, okay? Remind me to start weeping when you buy me a um Jaguar XK. I'm gonna whatever the fuck. I'm when gonna you buy, buy you me a, a land, when you get me a Land Rover, de the Land Rover Defender that I wanted. Yep. Remind me to start weeping and have the veins in my forehead busting out. Okay. And then, uh, <laughs> then you make me take my shirt off. Yeah. And then like switch the the roll on me and tell me you'll give me fifty three thousand dollars if I could show you a six pack in three months. Yeah, and I'll be I'll be chewing gum even though I'm not a comedian. I'm doing a real estate thing. I'll be chewing gum on the microphone and I'll I'll, I'll refer to it as ten grand. Yeah. Because it's so much money. That you have, it's grand, <laughs> which makes you simultaneously, you sound like you're, that's, I mean. Have you ever been to one of those? What, a, like a real estate thing? Yeah. No. Oh, we should go. Have you? Uh, yeah, I, I did. I went to one with my buddy Adam. Mm -hmm. It was, it was fucking painful. Mm -hmm. It was in like a hotel conference room. I was mm -hmm. like 20, 23, maybe 22. I went to one, my buddy, he, my buddy had like, he owned like 10 houses. He was like killing it. And he was like, we got to go to this thing. And I was like, all right. And it was like a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. And it was like us and two like 30 faggots in like a, a, a bad hotel room in like 2000 and fucking whatever, mm -hmm. six. It was so embarrassing. Getting like a tough guy rah-rah speech from with a bunch of people that don't even, like, raise your hand if you own a house. I own, own a house. Yeah. I had a house. Yeah. And Adam, like it was like five out of 30 people owned a house. Like mm -hmm. imagine going to, imagine that's the way you learn how to do that. Like, yeah. Go to a conference. Mm -hmm. There were like women that like wanted to talk to me after because I had a mortgage. Mm -hmm. They were 48 years old. Oh my God. They didn't want to have sex. I don't know. They but like this, wanted the, they wanted the info. This stuff, this kind of stuff's is it coming back? Is it a cyclical? That's maybe that's what it is. It's a cyclical thing mm. because it was pre-crash market where people were like I just did this in this market. Mm -hmm. That's what this guy, whatever the fuck product he sold. Do you like the movie The Big Short? Yeah, I think that's a really fun movie. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's uh, oversimplified or whatever, but it is fun. It is fun to watch. The I like Steve the Carell. Big, I, I like the Big I like, Short. I like that movie a lot. Yeah. Um, let's go to, I like Jeremy Strong too. He's really, yeah. he's really good. He's, he's got like a, a weird polarity about him. Yeah. That's, uh, it, it's good. It's good. You haven't seen, I haven't seen something like that in a while. Was he in Secession? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he was Kendall. Which I like that. I really like that character in Secession. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think that's very clever to, it's good, good stuff. Go back to, uh, whatever you had open there. 
Dude, he looks he looks like such a fucking pinhead in those headphones yeah. too. He's a, every mid to good athlete in, uh, that I've ever met. He looks like he smells like cum. <laughs> Look at him. I don't smell like cum. <laughs> I have cum on me. I did put some cum on me. Yes, yes, I did, sir. Yes, sir, I did. Is that, that's probably going to be a little bit of a problem to you, isn't it? <laughs> right? Isn't it? That I might smell like cum, right? A little bit of chlorine, right? I did smear some cum on me. Yes, I did, sir. Thank you, sir. Would you like some cum on you? Maybe it's a secret to my success. Now, why didn't you ask me why I put cum on myself? First problem, number one, right there. He didn't ask me why I put cum on myself. God damn, Nick. <laughs> <clears throat> Next time, ask me why I put cum on me. <laughs> I'm covered in jizz. <laughs> You're pulling me around in a trash can. I'm in like a Lowe's trash can. <laughs> Man. The scenarios you come up with are really funny, bro. No. You're just, you're just quick with it. No, we were watching now, the- why didn't he ask me why I smell like cum? <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's so funny, man. That's like right on. Like, uh, well, that's what he would say. I know. Well, we're, I think we're in heavy writing phase. Question number one. Why didn't he ask me why I smell like cum? <laughs> that's so good, bro. You're not going to learn if you don't ask the right questions, right? Now, here's a guy, well-dressed, good, in shape, reeks of cum. Why is that? I was molested. <laughs> I drank my stepdad's semen, and I reuse it to remind myself every day that I'm never going back. And people are like, <laughs> like a water cooler salesman's like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, yo, oh my god, man. <laughs> I mean, oh, I mean, we watch enough of these fucking things. Yeah, you know, that's all it is. It's mandatory oh, office work. My God, watch ceremonies. Have you seen? Have you looked into Michael Rubin at all? No. Michael Rubin's the guy that threw that white party this summer. Okay. He's fucking d- He's just a fucking loser. He's like a typical fucking Brazilian guy that just like absolutely thinks he's the coolest fucking guy in the world for like worshiping basketball. Yeah. Like, I know a lot about basketball, so I'm cool. Uh-huh. Yo, it's James Harden. Yeah. Yo, but let me watch how much he touches everybody real bad. Look, what, keep your eyes on his hands. What? Always what? grabbing. Look at the dude. Look, look up Michael Rubin, Bob Kraft birthday. Look picture. at the, look this right here. He's got his hand on this guy's ass. Is yeah, that John yeah. Legend? If I did that to you, Sam, what would you? You'd push my hand away, and we'd start. We'd have a fist fight. Is that John Legend? Who is that? No, that's, that's, that's a gay gay mulatto. Okay. Is that James Harden? Tom James Brady. Harden and Tom Brady. <laughs> he throws like the most you know star studded. He's he's fi- so he started fanatics and blah blah blah. He grew yeah. up in a, you know he's always got the, the humble beginning story. <laughs> You know, where he just he started his skiing business when he was twelve. You know, from humble beginnings, mm-hmm. and he did twenty five thousand when he was twelve, and then he did fifty thousand when he was fifty. Whatever, I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, but now he throws these like weird, and he has the I don't know what he has like these strange like demonic looking fucking eyes. But um, they're like always red and inflamed. His eyes, if you take pictures of them, they look strange. It looks like he's on like a drug. I can't explain. A doll's um, eyes. Yeah, that's weird. oh, he's, he's, he's wearing wearing makeup? red eye eyeshadow. Or yeah, something. it's something. His eyes look very red. It's a cool outfit. It is a cool. It's a good outfit. look. At yo, dude, touching his ribs. Just right turn a game. Chauncey Billups or whoever that is. He's what like, the fuck? A, ma- a, ma- a man's hands right here. Yeah, yo, uh, all the time. Look at the Bob Kraft birthday picture is the number one in the world. You're gonna die. He's always Bob. Bob Kraft is his quote mentor, or or just the other guy he sucked at a fucking demon obelisk marble blood drink ceremony. Look at his eyes. Know. Yeah. Like, this shit's strange, dude. Meek Mill's gay ass. Look how close he is to Kevin Hart. Oh, he always jump. He, he does, like, from behind hugs and shit. Mm-hmm. So, you know, these, these, this is like the... He's into cuddling. He's into cuddling grown men at mm-hmm. a party while everybody's there. Mm-hmm. That's when I'm... You know what? I, I, I want to cuddle sometimes. I'll be honest yeah. with you. And the best time I cuddle is when there's uh, 300 people at my house and everybody's walking around having cocktail hour, I want to cuddle with men while they're standing up. Sometimes I just want to do a big Martha Stewart Christmas hug on Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, I get I it. Just breathe, in his, breathe on his neck. I want to have a uh, little baby at my house. Yeah. But I want to hug him in the bathroom by, when we're by ourselves. Mm-hmm. And um, like this, like look at the one hey! on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit. What the fuck? And you can, I mean, there's thousands and thousands and thousands. He's like a, like a Puff Daddy level handler. Man, but he's it, a Gary Pasternak handler. He's saying, pick me up. NB, NBA <laughs> players are so straight. They're, it's the straightest sport there is. Dwayne Wade is cool, mm-hmm. and NBA is mad straight and not manipulate. That's why it was better when Michael Jordan was there, just to be like, <laughs> hey, you want a drink? 
<laughs> I bet you I can get you to drink. <laughs> That's my impression of Michael Jordan. <laughs> I'll, I'll bet you I can get you to drink. Yeah. <laughs> but like these, like in like cringy celeb uh, game parties, like this yeah. kind of crap. So if you want to play this silly game and these humiliation rituals, there's just like a core group of people. Mm-hmm. And um, the, the amount of like, and I like when they grab like a newbie, like Drewski. Mm-hmm. You know the black guy Drewski. Yeah, yeah. They're just trying to fuck that guy as hard as possible. Mm-hmm. And it'd be interesting to be like, nah, I don't know. It's just very, it's all very interesting to me. Uh, well, I think that didn't uh, they? They have uh, now they got podcasts with the guys that said nah. Like, have you seen? You've seen Nori's? What's Nori's podcast? Yeah, uh, drink not drink champs. No, uh, is Nori drink champs? Nori who? Nori. 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 N-O-R-E. Those are the guys that get in the basketball players that talk about how it, this cheating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drink champs. Drink champs. Yeah. Yeah. Drink champs is where I, there's a, there's you see clips on here where it's like, I, yeah, I went in the room and saw Puff Daddy kissing another n- Yeah. I said, no, sir. No, not me. And that no. was the end of my career. I ain't never made an album after that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how yeah. black guys typically like uh, the ones I hear. It's like, okay, that was in 99. How many albums did I make after that? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. How many albums did I make after he's the one? And they're always like, like, I'm supposed to know the fucking song and my white ass is watching like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm sitting there like yeah. a gourd, like a, like, a, like, a, like a harvest gourd, yeah, yeah. like pre- pretending to understand like I, after, after platinum status, how many albums did I make, Sam? Zero. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, what I, that's what I always hear, yeah. and it's probably it's a thousand percent true. Yeah, but it's like who did then? Like those the, the all this the gate the gate gatekeeping shit is just so endlessly entertaining, and I'm I'm so stupid that I keep falling for like the, for finding this interesting year after year after year. But I don't know. I mean, that's the club, man. When you see three million dollars, three million dollars a day go to like a guy like Jared Leto singing mediocre rock music. Mm-hmm. From a guy to come from like an ad. It'd be like if I saw Hulk Hogan selling spices yeah. at like Stop and Shop and making like $500 million. He's like, you take my spices, my oregano, whatever the fuck he would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. And like, he's like, what? <laughs> That's just kooky. Yeah. 